Hey there, students. Welcome to the week 11 Sturdivant Report. And man, am I loving the background going on. So if you want to be a science teacher someday, I think Chance, you want to be a science teacher. Isn't this just an epic background? I think it's beautiful. Okay, so we went a little, we got cut a little short last uh, Wednesday when we're talking about standardized testing, the SAT, and then we're going to talk about Arthur Bester, Nation at Risk, and then, and then going forward. So the first part of the period tomorrow, we're going to finish that little portion of the video up, and then we're going to talk a little bit about that. So the very first part of the period, we got to finish that. It won't take long. And because I didn't get that video portion done last Wednesday, we postponed Reflection 5 until next week. So Reflection 5 is due on 4-7. It's going to be about who you found more compelling, uh, Dewey, with his idea of the Gary Plan and allowing students to explore their interests, or Arthur Bester, someone that you're going to become familiar with tomorrow who thought that a lot of this stuff was nonsense and we need to teach the basics. So you're going to write your reflection based on you know, your experience of navigating these two ideas, but it's not due until 4-7. Hey, I'm loving this slide. Tomorrow we're going to shift gears in the sense that we were talking about uh, what should be taught and how it should be taught. And now we're going to now we're going to shift gears into who should be taught. And if you look on the hyperdoc, there's a little benefits and challenges PDF of diversity that I'd like you to read before class tomorrow. And then we're going to talk about some really important stuff. There's two issues that we're going to face that every public school teacher in America needs to be familiar with. The first is the Brown case in 1954, the Supreme Court case that told schools that they had to desegregate. And then three years later in Little Rock, Arkansas, this major confrontation took place between the federal government and local authorities in Arkansas over whether they had to do it or not. And, and we're going to focus on what took place in Little Rock, Arkansas for our big class discussion next week. Now, uh, we are going to watch about 18 minutes more of the video, which talks about the history of these two events, and it'll give you some great background. And then I am going to give you these fascinating primary sources. They're about a page to two long a piece, and you're going to read about Little Rock, Arkansas in 1957, and that's going to inspire our conversation. I'm really proud of the way I conduct class discussions. It's called philosophical chairs, which some of you may or may not be used to. But the objective is to get lots of class participation. As a matter of fact, your reflection six is going to be based on your participation in this conversation that we're going to have next week. And uh, generally, everybody gets 20 out of 20. So, so look, there's two there's two uh, things that need to be accomplished by next Wednesday. Number one, you need to write your reflection five. And number two, you need to participate in the conversation for reflection six. And if you miss next Wednesday, you're going to have to write a reflection instead of just participating in the class discussion. So come, man. It won't be the same without you.